Peter and Carolyn Hiskey.
and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, there's a couple special moments at a wedding reception, and one is when a dad gets to dance with his daughter. So let's bring Rebecca and her dad on the dance floor to a round of applause.
Ladies and gentlemen, a special round of applause for Vicky Stein and her son. Where's my wife? Come up here. First of all, I think on uh, behalf of our family, uh, we are very, very happy that each one of you, every one of you here is for a reason. Maybe each one of you are a big part of Charles and Rebecca's life, and uh, each one of you are here because of, uh, they want you to be here, frankly. And uh, we are very thankful for the fact that you've traveled so far, or you, you know, uh, decided to come out when you could have, I guess you couldn't be playing golf today. But, you know, well, yeah, sadly. Uh, sadly, our afternoon, late tea times were canceled. Uh, but we are very thankful that each one of you are here, and we just want you to be able to celebrate uh, on this wedding weekend for us. It's been such a joy with us so far, and we are, uh, on behalf of uh, Rebecca and Charlotte, very thankful. And then we're also very happy to meet all of our new relatives, all the Stalin's family side that we're merging with this day. And so we are very happy that Carol and I, that you're, each one of you are here as well. And I uh, hope you'll, uh, we'll hopefully get to meet everybody. This is just about the right size crowd. If I work the crowd good, I can meet everybody. So. <laughs> No reason not to meet a couple new friends today. <laughs> yeah. um, and then we're going to have a blessing for, uh, for, for Charles and Rebecca and for the food. So if you just bow your heads with us, we'll do that. So Lord God, we thank you for, we thank you for the gift of marriage. We believe that, that for, uh, for whatever reason you had it, you decided at the beginning of all creation that it was going to be this miracle that happened when two people became one where a heart and a mind and a, and a body and a soul were merged. And we believe that happened today. There's a, a miracle that actually happened in this ceremony. And we just pray for all of us. Do we come around Charles and Rebecca? We pledged and we said we will stand with them. And so now we all have a responsibility and we need your help. And then for the food, we're grateful we live in a country where we have so much. We have an abundance. We'll have food we throw away today, which is amazing. But each food that um, we put in our bodies, I pray, would nourish our bodies to do whatever you have for us this day. Would you bless it and bless this time? In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you so much for coming. Hi, I'm Rachel, Rebecca's older sister, for those of you I haven't met yet. Thank you all for being here today. I'm pregnant, that's my excuse. <laughs> She's also my oldest friend. We're two years apart and we're fast friends from the start, playing dress up and making up plays in our basement in Greenville. Picking berries and jumping on the trampoline and watching Mary Kate and Ashley in Annapolis. Yeah. When I was four and when Rebecca was two, my parents told us that we'd marry someone that we really loved, so naturally I thought I'd marry Rebecca. <laughs> I sang a song about it, we'll just save that for another day. <laughs> In middle school, our thinking progressed, and we thought she'd marry Nick from the Backstreet Boys. We're still not really sure why he never responded to her email. <laughs> um, as we got older, uh, she always wanted to follow my friends and I around, and as a typical older sister, I wasn't interested in that. But when I went away to college, I realized how much I treasured our relationship, and um, just really wanted to be good friends. So um, we talked on the phone every day, and she visited often. We went on a lot of special trips together to the West Coast and Samoa and a cruise with our mom, which turned out to be a booze cruise, which was another special memory. <laughs> <laughs> a couple years later, she had Landon, and our relationship grew even stronger. I was in the room with her when she had Landon, so I'm not really sure how there would be a better bonding experience. Uh, a couple years after that, I had my son. So. Um, it was just amazing to look up to and rely on you for advice and a lot of listening years, too many tears. It's been fun to watch you become such a great mom. Um, I thought about this day for a long time and it's hard to believe it's actually here. We've been through so many phases together. From playing dress up wedding and making up fake wedding invitations to picking out your real dress and writing your invitations with everyone here today. Um, you've gone through a lot of ups and downs in your life and I'm really amazed at all that you've accomplished. Looking back, I can see that 
God's been preparing you and shaping you for this new partnership you're entering. We're so thankful for Charles and know that he'll be a good partner for you. I've only known Charles a year and a half, but so far I've been impressed with the way that he's jumped into be Langan's dad and his willingness to be supportive in so many ways. Um, for those of you who don't know, Rebecca had a surgery last year and had to do a liquid diet for eight weeks, and Charles did it too. So I think that's when we knew you were here to stay. <laughs> uh, family's always been important to us, so I hope that today you'll remember you're not leaving the Husky family, but starting your own family. And I'll remember that I'm not losing my sister, but getting a brother. And that you'll always be with us, no matter where life takes us. So I want to end with a little part of a poem by E.E. E. Cummings. <laughs> Here is the deepest secret nobody knows. Here is the root of the root and the bud of the bud. And the sky of the sky of a tree called life, which grows higher than soul can hope or mind can hide. And this is the wonder that's keeping the stars apart. I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart. I love you both. And ask everyone to join me in, in toasting to the new solid channel. seagull joke, she laughs every single time. <laughs> and I feel really comfortable around her, like I can come talk to her about everything and anything. If I ever meet her, she's there to me. And we're very similar in a lot of ways. She always encourages my creativity. I think without that, I probably wouldn't be that creative. So that's nice. And we have craft nights all the time, which is fun. I think there's also, we're both going through like two different things, like we're both starting two different chapters, which is cool at the same time. Like she's getting married and I'm going to college next year, which I don't know where yet, so don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's cool. Um, one thing, one time Rebecca like apologized to me about, she said, I'm sorry that I'm a bad role model, which I always think is like a terrible thing that she said, because it's not true. <laughs> because she's a great role model and I'll always look up to her because she's gone through so much and everything she's gone through she's always been so strong through it and I always want to be strong like her so whenever I feel weak I just look up to her and be strong because I just want to be like her and get through it bravely and so that I'll toast to my ultimate role model mm -hmm. I don't really know where to begin. Charles has been like a brother to me for a good bit of 10 years. He's always there when you need him. I can remember countless times where my car would blow up and he'd be there waiting on the porch before I'd even get up. Um, you're kind of like the glue in our group. Always kept us together. That's a good thing. Um, you've always described your best woman for a long time. I think you finally found her. And I couldn't be more happy for you. And I'm glad that you guys got married today. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> scraped me off the bottom of my crater. I was with him when he hit his bottom. Somehow, man's getting married. Got married. <laughs> um, and then, I'm, I'm more than honored to be here today speaking to you guys as a best man. And hopefully one day you will be mine. To Charles and Becca. Thank you.
important question everybody looks straight ahead of your early marriage. Who's going to control the remote for the TV? <laughs> Who was the most nervous this morning? <laughs> Alright, next question. Alright, now who's the accountant in the family? Who's going to handle the family? <laughs> Here we go. 